They say laughter is the best medicine, but it probably didn't do any of these games much good. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 hilarious video game deaths. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at deaths in video games which are guaranteed to get a laugh, be they intentionally funny or just accidentally ridiculous. Number 10, Giant Launch, The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. When it comes to Bethesda, it's never easy to work out if something weird is actually supposed to be in a game or not. The same goes for the infamous giant launch attack in Skyrim, where a giant will slam its club into the ground in front of you and launch you some 600 feet into the air, killing you instantly. This may be common knowledge among Skyrim players now, but for newcomers attempting to fight a giant and suddenly being thrown so high they can enter the Earth's atmosphere, this is a moment of hilarity that's hard to forget. <laughs> Number 9, Ambulance, John Madden Football 92. Like any sport, football comes with its own risk of injuries. Concussions, dislocations, breaks, sprains, anything can happen on the field. In Madden 92, if a player was down for whatever reason, the paramedics would arrive and deliver what would otherwise be a very efficient service if it wasn't for all the mass murder. While they get to the player they need to treat quickly, they do this by running over everybody in their path, comedically knocking them out on the way and then driving away with whoever was hurt. It almost made your players getting injured totally worth it just to see the ambulance come out and cause havoc. Number 8, Animalities, Mortal Kombat 3. First introduced in Mortal Kombat 3, animalities quickly became ingrained in the series. Not just because turning into an animal in order to brutally murder your opponent is pretty cool, but also because of the sheer ridiculousness of some of the transformations. The characters never seem to turn into the creatures you'd expect. Striker turns into a T-Rex and bites people in half, Kano turns into a tarantula and crushes them to death, but the funniest of all has to be Scorpion. Rather than turn into a scorpion, like the name would suggest, he instead turns into a penguin and lays explosive eggs. Scorpion wins. Flawless victory. Number 7. Touching the Door, Dragon's Lair. Watching a compilation of Dragon's Lair deaths takes about the same time as playing through the game without dying, but it's nowhere near as entertaining. However, the classic animation that made the notoriously difficult arcade game so endearing was scrapped for the NES port, along with the quick-time gameplay. They took out what made people want to play the game in the first place and replaced it with even more unfair deaths, most famously by just walking into a door. And while these deaths are insanely frustrating, they're also undeniably funny. Number 6, Face McShooty, Borderlands 2. Was it my face? Shoot me in the face! In the face! Do it! Shoot me in the face! Face, 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 face! The Borderlands series is no stranger to wacky encounters, but run-ins with a guy called Face McShooty really take the cake. While exploring Thousand Cuts in Borderlands 2, you may come across a psycho character screaming at you in desperation to shoot him in the face. Him begging you to do so opens up the mission, shoot this guy in the face. And when you go through the objective, probably because you're just sick of listening to him shout, he even thanks you, in spite of the fact that he's now dead from being, you know, shot in the face. What are you waiting for? Thank you! Number 5, Meat Grinder. Resident Evil 6. In 
In its entire career, Resident Evil has never shied away from gore, and Resident Evil 6 was no exception. During a tense scene where Leon and Helena are trapped in a back alley meat market, they need to kill a regenerating Rescaplanier, which attacks them. You can fend off the attack, provided that you do the quick time event properly. If you don't, you're treated to a scene where neither protagonist fights back before being pulled backwards into a meat grinder with the monster on top of them. Only when the entire death animation is complete do we hear the second character grieve the loss of their partner, even though they could have stepped in to help at any point. Hello! Number 4. You are dead, dead, dead. Total distortion. You are dead, dead, dead. Thought you were hot. Guess what? You're not. There's very little about Total Distortion that isn't hilarious. A game where you travel to a parallel dimension based on rock music and defeat enemies via guitar battles, all to shoot trippy music videos and make tons of money. Now that's rock and roll. So it's no surprise a game with this ridiculous premise would have an equally fitting game over screen. Whenever you fail, one of the guitar warrior enemies begins to play a catchy tune and song. You are dead, dead, dead. You almost want to die in-game just so that you can hear this mocking jingle again, again, again. You are dead, dead, dead. You are dead, dead, dead. Number 3. Miracle of Flight. Red Dead Redemption. Hmm. To even mention all the things a bird must constantly keep in mind, in order to fly securely through the air would take the better part of a day. You have to go across the entire map of New Austin, Blackwater, and Mexico to complete this long fetch quest. Your job is to help a total stranger, Charles Kinnear, build a glider as he wants to be the first person to fly through that region of America. Despite the Wright brothers having already invented the plane by this point in time, Kinnear is dead set on perfecting his invention. However, Things take a turn for the worst when rather than actually glide, he just goes plummeting off the cliff to his death. <laughs> oh dear. We may have all seen it coming, but that doesn't make it any less tragically funny when it finally happens. The bird has learned this art of equilibrium and learned it so thoroughly that its skill is not apparent to our sight. Number 2. Orchid's Flash Fatality – Killer Instinct <laughs> Death by Boobs is a way plenty of people would like to go, and luckily, Orchid has been around making these dreams come true since the 1990s. Her finishing move consists of opening her shirt and flashing the recently defeated second player while she faces away from the screen. Player 2 will lose their mind in various hilarious ways, swooning over Orchid like a cartoon character before they die. Orchid then jumps and exclaims, Yeah! And if Orchid attempts this fatality on herself, the Orchid being flashed seems to get angry at the sight of her own body for some reason. <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Something's wrong with this thing! It keeps jamming! See? Sniper! Take position! Number 1. Fire Escape – Spider-Man 3 There's no shortage of bad quick time events in Spider-Man 3, but one of them stands out for the lackluster death scene you're treated to if you fail. Spider-Man attempts to save a woman strapped to a bomb from the top floor of a burning building, jumping through the rooms while dodging flames and debris. But at the last second, if you miss just one button push, he won't shoot his webs and will land flat on his face. The camera pans to the woman, who announces that she's going to die, and then we see the whole building blow up, all in the space of a few hilarious seconds. I'm going to die! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.